all right welcome back guys so in this one i want to quickly do a short video on different types of mobile apps that you know exist so different ways we classify mobile apps okay and so this is the part of the um, lecture that i um, this is the part of the page that i want you to focus on okay so the first way we classify mobile apps is based on the device okay and another way is based on the code or the language on which the app is built and the last is based on the content so well based on the device there are two broad categories so there are android apps and there are ios apps okay so i just want to keep things simple okay all right so there are android apps and ios apps based on the code there is what we call a native app and a hybrid app um, the simplest way i can just explain it is that native apps are basically apps that are coded in the native language okay for example when building android apps app developers use java okay or kotlin okay so with those languages they can create native apps you don't actually need to um, know what all of this mean to take this course okay i'm just you know putting the information out there okay and then there are hybrid apps so hybrid apps basically are apps that you can develop using a single code base and you basically develop this app using common web technologies okay so languages that people use to build websites can actually still be you know used to build mobile apps so those are what hybrid apps are so apps that you can just write one single code and deploy to ios and google google play store okay and ios app store okay so the last way we i'm going to classify um, apps is based on the content within the app so um based on the content i've classified apps into two so the first is function driven apps okay um so these basically are apps that actually do something or they perform a specific function a specific task an example a typical example will be like a photo editor okay um so or a video editor app or something okay and the second classification is based on um the content rather is content driven apps okay so basically these are apps that simply packages some form of content that is deemed valuable by the user okay and in the next video we're going to see um, some examples of apps that basically are just content based okay or content driven in other words you get the app you install the app and you get access to specific content okay in the form of text video um, images and stuff like that okay all right so th that's basically what i just wanted to cover in this app um, in this um, video okay and this course is going to focus on um, we're going to focus on learning how to develop content based app okay so um, i just wanted to you know make that very clear uh, i'm still going to talk about it as we go on in the lecture okay so thank you so much for watching this one. See you in the next one.